Today we're going to talk about deploying OpenStack with Puppet Enterprise and a new module from Puppet Labs called Puppet Labs Grizzly. Deploying OpenStack manually can be a very complex and daunting process. With the Puppet Labs Grizzly module, you can deploy a multi-node OpenStack installation in just about 10 minutes. The Puppet Labs Grizzly module helps to simplify not only your OpenStack deployment, but also your OpenStack management. The Grizzly module is based on an idea called roles and profiles. Within your deployment, each node is assigned a role. For example, you'll have a controller node in your OpenStack deployment, a storage node, a network node, and some number of compute nodes. Each of these roles is assigned profiles. So, for example, the controller node has a message queue, a cache, a database, and many of the OpenStack API endpoints. The storage node has the Glance API and registry, as well as the Cinder volume service. The network node handles routing through the quantum service. And the compute node hosts the hypervisors and all of the guest operating systems. Our module is going to assume that we have four networks available to us an API network, an external network, a management network, and a data network. It's not necessary for your own deployment to have four networks, but it is important that you have an external facing network and an internal facing network. We're going to start by going to our Puppet Enterprise console. For right now, we're going to assume that you've already set up your Puppet Enterprise master and that all of your nodes have also been connected. So here you can see that we have a network node, a storage node, a compute node, and a control node. Right now, these nodes haven't been configured in any way except to connect to Puppet Enterprise. The Puppet Labs Grizzly module also only works with Red Hat family operating systems. And so we're assuming that you're running Red Hat. We're also assuming that you've updated all of your nodes with the latest RDO kernel from Red Hat. You can find this at openstack.redhat.com. Go to the quick start to find out how you can connect the repository and update your kernel. This is because the OpenStack networking and the OpenV switch rely on network namespace extensions for the Linux kernel. These extensions are available in the kernel provided by the RDO repository. For the compute node, you're going to need to turn off SE Linux as it interferes with hypervisor functions. This is fairly easy to do. Edit the SE Linux configuration file, change the mode from enforcing to permissive, and reboot your system. We're going to start by installing the Puppet Labs Grizzly module. We do this by switching over to a console on our Puppet Master. You run the command puppet module install Puppet Labs Grizzly. This command will head out to the forge, download the Grizzly module, and all of its dependencies. Now that the Puppet Labs Grizzly module has been installed, we need to set up Hira, a hierarchical database that can store all of your configuration options in one file and help make your deployments easier to maintain. Change to the Puppet Labs Puppet directory and edit the hira.yaml configuration file. Here we want to add a new hierarchy called common and add a data directory. This is going to live within the Etsy Puppet Labs Puppet Hira data directory. Save the changes. They'll be picked up automatically by Puppet Enterprise. Create the Hira directory and copy the example file from the Puppet Labs Grizzly module into the Hira data directory. This can be found on GitHub within the Puppet Labs namespace. Go to the examples directory and find the link for common.yaml. You're going to need to edit the common.yaml file for your own particular installation. There are several options available for you. You can select the name of the region that your OpenStack deployment is going to have. You need to set the API and external networks and devices. These two networks can share the same space, as well as the management and data networks. These two networks can also occupy the same space. Additionally, you need to select the IP addresses for your controller and storage nodes for the API and for the management networks. You need to set up a password for your database, as well as the allowed hosts, including the space for your management network. Finally, you need to set the passwords and other tokens for RabbitMQ, Keystone, Glance, Cinder, Nova, Quantum, and Horizon. 
Since your common.yaml file contains passwords, you'll also want to set the permissions so that only the root and PE Puppet groups can read it. Finally, you need to make sure that the permissions are set properly so that Puppet Enterprise can pick up the Hira data. We head back to the Puppet Enterprise console and go to the Classes tab. In our Classes tab, we select Add New Classes. This gives us a list of all of the new classes that are available to us. We search for the text Grizzly Role because we're looking for the roles that we're going to assign to the different nodes within our cluster. Here we select the Compute, Controller, Network, and Storage roles and add the selected classes. We go back to the Nodes view and then we can assign these roles to the different nodes in our system. So we'll start by assigning the Control role to the Control node. Select Edit, and add the Grizzly controller role, and select Update. You can see that the control node has the Grizzly role controller class associated with it. We'll go to Live Management, deselect all of the nodes except for the control node, select Control Puppet, Run Once, and Run. We can watch the output of this run on the system log and pipe that into grep puppet. There are a lot of changes that need to be made to the system and so the run takes about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes your catalog run is going to be finished. It's important that you apply the changes to the control node first because all of the other nodes have services that depend upon the database and API installations that happen on the control node. Now we can go to each of the other nodes and apply the class definitions to them also. So we go to the storage node, edit it, and apply the storage role. We do the same for the network. And compute node. We go back to the live management panel select the Compute, Network, and Storage nodes, go to Control Puppet, and invoke Run once again. Again, we can watch the progress of these runs. Tail minus F, Verilog messages. The runs on these nodes generally happen much faster than the installation on the Control node. The Network node completed its run after about three minutes. The Storage node also. The Compute node installation finishes after about five minutes. If we go back to the node view, we can see that during the course of these installations, we've made about 1,500 changes to our running system. Up to this point, we've configured and installed a complete OpenStack deployment using Puppet Enterprise and the Puppet Labs Grizzly module. In the next video, we'll go over how you can get started using your OpenStack system by setting up networking, installing machine images, launching those images, and attaching storage.